What's up guys, Paul Drake here. This is the first podcast for Freedom Life School. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to be here and I hope you are too. We're going to be talking about a fair few different things. And the core values of my uh, podcast will be to help you become better, help you to live a life without regret, and live a happy and successful life. Because at the end of the day, without them three things... I believe life can be very, very dull. You can uh, end up living from the past. And at the end of the day, you're just not going to live the best self. So, yeah, becoming better, living life without regret, and uh, being happy. So I hope you stay tuned for what's to come, and hopefully you can get a lot of value from what I'm trying to say. This first episode is a bit... You know, a bit hit and miss because it's the first episode, so I just want to get it out there, start finding my voice, really start honing in on what I can do to help you out and what what I can do to make your life better. So, this first one <laughs> it's just to get it out of the way, but after that, we should uh, start getting better as they go on. So, this first one, I just want to tell you a little bit of a story, backstory about how I got to this place right now. Now, I will start when I was about 15. My um, parents owned uh, like a sign company at the time, brand new to business, they've never ever done it before. But I was in the Navy for like 24 years, I come out, decided to do a sign company which I haven't got a clue why, because at the end of the day they didn't do, do absolutely nothing about it. Then, as I found out, as time went on, that they got more and more skin, which then made me realise I'd never want to be in that situation again. So. As soon as I could, I found myself a job and I started working. Now, yes, to be in with it seemed good because I was bringing money in. And you kind of feel like, well, I can do this, I can buy that, I can go out. But it soon quickly hits you that it's not the place that you want to be. So, what I mean by that is. You work, you have to use up your time to earn money. So then at the end of the week, you get your paycheck, then what happens? You you spend up a little bit and, sorry, I forgot to say, (laughs) I'm in my dressing gown. (laughs) This is is how relaxed we're going to have the first podcast. But, as you can see, even Bunny's in the background, he's chomping away on his hay in the background, but hey. This is raw. I'm showing you everything that I need to show you. To show this is, look, this is where I am at the minute. And I'm going to take you through my journey of getting better, living a life without regret. That's why I'm doing this first episode to get it done. And I want to be happy. Bottom line is, I want to live happy every single day. So, anyway, I digress. Carry on from the story. So, I was there for about six months at my first job I worked at like a cafe I think it was, a cafe and I was wash, pot, pot washing and me and my friend used to sneak off and like, have fags and stuff but it used, it was just, it was soon come to realise that that job was not meant for me. So then as time went on I started doing other jobs, I've done all sorts of uh, landscape gardening, I've done painting and decorating, I've worked in steel works. Uh, I've done, well, I helped my mum and dad with sign writing, I've worked in a wetsuit factory, I've worked in a food factory. I've really worked at the lower levels of most companies because I didn't get good grades. I didn't like school. School is shit. What you, what you learn in school isn't, in my opinion, worth learning. Yes, maybe the literacy part of it and basic mathematics, but... The rest of it, unless you want to go down a certain route in life where you want to be a history teacher or if you want to go really into biology and chemistry then you can become a scientist, stuff like that. But for most people, it isn't great. In fact, it's crap. Like The learning system is crap. They teach you to become employed at the end of the 12 years, is it? 12 years you're in school, 13, 13 years. By the end of it, they've taught you, you need to turn up on time, you can't make failures, you need to work for them, 
and then you clock out at the end of the day. So what's that making you do? Signing you up, so then as soon as you leave school, oh, what do you do? Clock in, do as you're told, don't do failures, clock out, hey presto. And that's supposed to be freedom. That is what their definition of freedom is. Right, as I digress again, <laughs> I try to, uh, I'll try not to do it too much. So, as I did that, I did many, many jobs, and it comes to uh, my last job I was working in a steel work. And I weren't bending steel or fabricating or anything like that. I was cleaning the warehouse. Now, at this point, I got to the point where it was just convenient, the time. The timings were 8 in the morning to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So that was the only reason I went for the job. Everything else weren't good. So, I was cleaning up. The warehouse looked immaculate. Like, don't get me wrong, when I work, I work friggin' hard. So, the warehouse itself... Nice and clean, and you kind of get to the point of where you see people throwing stuff on the floor. They're not tidying up after themselves, and you kind of think to yourself, right, I know I'm supposed to be doing it, but why the f can't you pick it up? You've deliberately thrown it on the floor. So it annoyed me, and to that point there, I was like, you know what, I don't want to be where I am now. I absolutely... I'm sick to tired of working these jobs that I've hated doing for many years. It must have been 14 years of just horrible work that I've not enjoyed whatsoever. To then, to then just not feel like appreciated. I might have been cleaning, but at the end of the day, who cares? You still don't treat people like shit, so at the end of the day, that was my turning point. I thought, you know what? I've had enough. I have had enough. So, I really sat down and thought, what do I want to do in life? What what do I really enjoy doing? And then that's when I come up with being a personal trainer. Because I love going to the gym. I love working out. I love learning about nutrition and training and stuff like that. So, I found out what the courses were to do it. Paid a lot of money to do the course. And... Hey presto, six months later, bing, bada, boom, bosh, I was a PT. Not having a clue on what it entailed. So basically, I had the qualification. I knew how to train people. I knew how to set up programs and I knew how to get people results. But I didn't know how to talk to people. I didn't know how to sell. I didn't know how to bring people to me. People call them prospects, traffic, blah, whatever you want to call them. So, I suffered big time. I'm quite an introverted person, so when it comes to speaking to people, I found it quite scary. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing this podcast. I'm actually filming it, because at the end of the day, I can speak, but I want, to, I want, I want you to realise how, how much of an introverted person I am and how how much I struggle to express what I'm truly feeling. So for me, this is like a, a big achievement and small things like this help you a big way. So that is the main thing why I'm making sure I record it. Now, what happens is you go into the gym, you think, oh yeah, everyone wants a personal trainer. Everyone, because they're in the gym. They obviously want personal training because they, they, they they're there, so why, why wouldn't they want one? Is that the case? No. My clients, I must have said about 10% of them might come up to me. The other 90% of people I had to try and find myself. And I struggled, I mean like proper struggled. There were like months where I didn't earn anything. And then the months that I did, it was only a little bit. And then when you've got kids at home, a house to support, it's very scary to know that no money is coming in. And as time went on, I got more and more in debt. I got more and more frustrated with how everything went. So then I started going down different routes and different ways to try and make money. Now that's a different story, but that is pretty much what drove me to the point of getting to this point now. 
the fact that I've gone through certain things, learned loads of different knowledge of like selling different online like courses, podcasting, blogging, all these different things. But none of this would have even mattered if I didn't make that one decision when I was working at Steelworks Factory to get to where I am now. Now, what happens when you want to do something in your life that no one else wants you to do? I've just had this recently. Do you live true to yourself? Or do you uh, just live to how they truly want you to be? Answer me that question. Look at Bunny in the background. Look at him so cute. So, tell me, are you one of these people that will take action? Are you one of these people that will try their damn hardest to put themselves forward? Or are you one of these people that likes to pe people please or... You know, doesn't like to have any confrontation or doesn't doesn't really have the emotion in it to change your lives. So for me personally, I had enough. That was the tipping point. I weren't, I was fed up. Fed up of the man, as they say. The, I was fed up of the man telling me what I could and could not do. I was fed up of him telling me, it's clock in at this time. Clock at that time. You come and do work for me to make me rich. So, I had enough. I, I, weren't, I weren't living for someone else. I did that for so many years and it was time to take my life back. Not everyone in your family or close to you is going to agree with you. But at the end of the day, what would you rather be? Happy doing something that you know that you love doing or would you rather be miserable for the rest of your life just to please other people? Because that's what it turns out to be at the end of the day. If you don't take action and you don't put your best foot forward to changing things in your life, becoming better, so that's either reading stuff, doing courses, changing your job, uh, exercising, anything in your life to help you become better, if that's living without regret. So, if you know that you could have done something 10 years ago and it's still eating away at you now, because most of us got it, like I've got things in my past that I regret doing, I was taking drugs at 14 years old. I was smoking weed, taking pills, I was just stupid. I regret doing that, but I can't change it. So I've learned from that, and I know that that there was just the path that I took in my life, which at the end of the day, I can never change. So I've moved on. I know that that's the place where I never want to be again. So I've learned from it. I don't class it as a failure. Like most people would, they class things as a failure and then they're scared to move on. So, is there anything that you regret? That you think, you know what, I should have done that years ago. I should have told this person years ago. I should have changed my job years ago. But yet, you feel safe. You feel, like, secure. At the end of the day, it's your own life. And if, and if you want to live a bullshit life, because you're too scared, then that's up to you. But if you wanna break free and live happy every single day, then it, it's only one decision away, honestly. It, that one decision that you know you're truly passionate and you truly wanna to move towards, that is all it's gonna take, is you moving that best foot forward and going forward. But that's it for today's episode. I'm gonna try and Try and do more. I'm gonna try and do them every day. And as the days get on, you'll notice that we'll get more of a better message. I'll get more of a more information out there for you to have. But not just that. You've got to be taking action. So if I give you information and valuable content, stuff, content, you need to be going out there and actually taking action. Because what's the point? We we digest all this information all the time. Don't get me wrong. I've done it in the past. I thought, yeah, I'll just keep doing that, reading, 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 keep going, 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 going. Realising I'm not even implementing what the person's teaching me. So, implementation of what you learn is what makes new habits. Once you get the new habits, they, call, they, they cause new, um, yeah, new good habits. So once you get forward, hey presto, your life's going to look better every day. Alright, anyway guys, as again, 
You can see, I'm in my dressing gown. This is raw. I am taking it forward. This, this for me, is, uh, you know, taking things forward. Really showing you, you can do anything. You, look, you can even be in your dressing gown, talking to people, but as long as you're giving them value, who cares? Honestly, who cares what you look like? Who cares what you're doing? Because at the end of the day, it's your life. Once you realise it's your life, and you can do what you want with it, fuck everyone else. Just do it. Anyway, guys, see you in a bit. Paul Drake, Feeling My School. If you like it, share it. If you don't, who cares? I'll see you in a bit.